What kind of how special is this day to kind of know you are officially on the clock and it's it's it's, it's sinking in now to imagine. It's it's what we call real. Yeah, and uh, I think it's uh, it's great because, you know, what the great thing about being on the clock is, we know the date. We know we have a deadline, and deadlines mean things. And what that means is that, we, is that we're able to then marshal the resources of, and the energy of all the people involved in the Super Bowl planning, both the county, the city, the state, the federal government, and then all of our local host committee folks, and point them in a direction. You know, when, when the Super Bowl's, when you're a year or two away, people go, yeah, it's coming. Now... It's here, and, yeah. and there's so many things to do between now and February 5th that, uh, that they're on it and we're on it, and so that's it's, it's exciting and also, you know, daunting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want to ask you a quick question. So Mayor Turner just mentioned, hey, we're dreaming big. We'd love to even get the Pro Bowl here. What would that mean to also potentially land that? Uh, the Pro Bowl would be great. It'd be yeah. clearly a, a good, a great bookend to start the Super Bowl week to have the Pro Bowl uh, on, you know, here at NRG uh, uh, Stadium. Uh, it would it would add value to the whole Super Bowl experience. The most important thing for us is we could activate local people more because the tickets are not as expensive. So most of the people who go to the Pro Bowl will be local drive. Yeah you know, sort of drive uh, to markets, which would be awesome for us to be able to provide that kind of experience, you know, to our region. Is that a long shot or do you think it's a, oh, I don't think it's a long shot. I think we, we, you know, we have a, a good shot at it, uh, but it's one of those things where, you know, you just have to wait and see. Very good.